Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. Today's video is an exciting one because we're going to make some changes to this side of the room. We're going to get rid of these two tanks and replace them with two brand new Oasa tanks. These new tanks are slightly bigger, they also both have their own cabinet, so the whole overall picture is just going to look better. Also just going to give us yeah, new opportunities for new scapes, so super excited about this one. Let's get started. So I've had these two tanks in this corner for the past two and a half years, I think. There's nothing really wrong with it, but I think for the past few months, the, the, the size difference between the two tanks kind of just start to annoy me a little bit. I mean, it, it can just look a lot better, you know. Also, there's plenty enough space for bigger tanks as well. So, yeah, I thought it was just time for a nice change. Now, I've been planning this upgrade for a few weeks already. And because of that, these two tanks kind of got neglected a little bit. This one is just turned into a plant holding tank. This one doesn't look too bad, it just um, hasn't really had a proper maintenance session in a few weeks, so there's a little bit of algae on the glass. But the fish are all doing fine though. Um, in here we have a large group of the tiger and lagapis. Uh, we have some orange neo carolina shrimp, and we also have three dwarf pea puffers. Now currently in the Netherlands the weather is actually becoming pretty nice, nice and warm. So the guppies will go outside in a little pond, and all the other fish and shrimp are just going to get um, a new home into one of my other tanks. So yeah, there's a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Okay, almost done cleaning out the first tank. Now removing the hardscape, removing plants and catching some fish, that's actually quite easy. But then you get to this last step, and that is catching all the baby shrimp. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but there's literally loads of them crawling around. I have most of the adults in here, a lot of them as well. But yeah, there's still loads of babies in here, so that's gonna take quite a while. I remember, I remember when I set up this tank and I combined the the shrimp with the dwarf pea puffers everybody said like no it's not possible they're gonna eat them all but i don't think they ate a single one by the looks of it but yeah let's keep going all right then one down one to go okay we're making progress all the fish have found a way into their new home just have to empty this tank, then uh, remove everything from the cabinet, take the cabinet apart, and then we can start working on the new tank. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of work, but we're making progress. Yeah, now the real fun begins. So we have tank number one, and then we have cabinet number one. Cabinet still needs to be assembled. But yeah, what we have here is the Oase Styline 125 in black. So many of you will know that I've been working with Oase for a while now. They recently sent me the beautiful Scaper Line 90 set. Really happy with that, really high quality tank. And they've now sent me two sets of the Styline 125. So super thankful for their support. Yeah, when I was thinking of upgrading this corner, I was first thinking to go for two sets of the Scaper Line 60. I thought it would be pretty cool next to each other. But then the Scaper Line 60 is not that much bigger than the two tanks that we already had over here, you know? And I wanted something with a little bit more volume, a little bit more space. So then I started looking at these Styline sets. They have some pretty interesting dimensions. And they have tanks with a lid. And I actually haven't had tanks with a lid in a very long time. But I'm actually very excited about that. So I think these Styline sets look really good. But let's open them up. Let's see how they look in real life. So with this caper line, the cabinet already comes pre-assembled. The style line is a bit more of a budget range, so we have to uh, yeah, put, it to get, put it together ourselves. Not my strongest point, but I'm gonna give it a go. So yeah, let me uh, see if I can put this whole thing together. Here we go, first one is done. Total time spent, one hour. <laughs> told you I wasn't very good at this, so it took quite a long time, but uh, we managed. So yeah, looking good. And we have a nice big door, pushed open. Uh, there's an opening in the back, but yeah, I'm fine with that. The previous cabinet had an opening in the back as well. A uh, shelf that you, you can like, yeah, place on any height that you want. I've placed mine quite high because I want to fit a CO2 bottle below that. I'm not sure if I'm going to use CO2 on this thing, but just nice to uh, have that ready.
Here we go, Styler 125 in black. So it already comes with light, a filter and a heater as well. So pretty good deal actually for, uh, for this set. I think it's like 400, 450 euro or something like that for the stand, the tank and then the, uh, the equipment as well. So yeah, pretty nice deal. Okay, so now the next day. Yesterday I finished setting up the second Styline 125 as well. So we're all ready now. And I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with that. Just a much better use of the space. So today I want to take a bit of a closer look at the tanks and I think set up some of the equipment as well. Let's actually first go over the dimensions because yesterday when I was assembling the stand, the cabinets, I was like, actually quite small, quite low. But then I put the tank on top and it just made sense because the tank is quite tall. So let's see, overall height from top to bottom is 122 centimeters, which is uh, 48 inches. And then the tank itself is 50 centimeters tall or 19 and a half inches. The actual space between the rim, that's also quite important. And there we have 36 inches, uh, sorry, 36 centimeters or 14 inches. And then from left to right, we are at 70 centimeters or 27 and a half inch. And then front to back, we are at 36 centimeters and that's 14 inch. So yeah, interesting dimensions. It's not really an aquascape tank. I mean, in tanks for aquascape we usually have a little bit more depth and less height, but these are a little bit taller, but I actually quite like that. Just something different, you know, just to mix it up a little bit. I've been, I've been doing so many like standard aquascape tanks recently. It's just nice to uh, kind of switch it up. Okay, so let's take a close look at the tank. So finally I have a tank with a lid again. Actually really excited about it. It's almost like going back to my childhood days again. So the lids are, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically two separate panels, glass panels, and they're covered with some sort of protective material. The same stuff that they used for the rim of the tank. Uh, one of the panels has an, uh, a handle, so you can easily slide it open. And then on either side they have these sort of cutouts for wires, tubing, stuff like that. There's one on that side as well, so you can decide where you want to uh, yeah, have your wires and stuff. In the center here is another sort of glass support brace. I think that's purely for the, uh, the light. So the light that comes with the, the tank is two um, just daylight LED tubes. You kind of have to assemble them and put them on this. Um, aluminum yeah, support, brace, whatever you want to call it. We'll do that in a minute. And that kind of rests on top of this. Now obviously because this is the budget range from Awaza, the tanks are not made from optic white clear glass, but just regular flow glass. Nothing wrong with that. Actually the previous tank that was on the, uh, on the stand here, the left one, that one was made from regular flow glass as well and couldn't really see a difference. So this set does come with a filter as well, the Oasa BioPlus Thermo 200. So it's an internal filter with a heater as well. I think it's a 200 watt heater. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this. I think I will just stick with my external canister filter. If I can manage to fit the, the hoses through that cutout, I think I'll just stick with the external filter just to yeah, have more space available in the tank itself. But uh, yeah, just a nice internal filter to supply with this set as well. Let's put the lights together. Okay, so we have the Oasa Highland Classic LED Daylight 60. Uh, where are the specs? Over here. It's 12 watts, 1300 lumens, and 6500 Kelvin. So it's just regular daylight. We have two of these. So in total, we have 24 watts, 2600 lumens. Yeah, should be a pretty good power for this size aquarium. Yeah, so we have this thing, two of these, and I think it's just a case of placing them in and then sort of just like, I just did it. Uh, twisting it, yeah, placing it in, twisting it, and then it's secure. I actually want a little bit more that way, so let's put it there. Second one, just like so, attach it to the LED lights, we should be good. Because the lights are sort of set up. I guess you could add two more if you wanted to, if you want a little bit more power, but I think this should be enough. 
The only thing is though that now because we have two LED tubes, we also have two plugs. That's something I don't really like, and we just prefer to just have one plug, but it is what it is. Here we go. We have ourselves some light. Looking good. They actually thought this out pretty well. So this thing, of course, you can move it, but there's no way for this to kind of fall into the water because there's yeah, basically a, um, a little rubber on the side. And it's, yeah, it just, there's no way for this to drop into water. So quite nice. Of course, because these are tubes, you can also kind of rotate them. So you can direct the light into uh, certain areas if you want. That's nice. Yeah, overall not too bad. It's pretty powerful as well, quite bright. Okay, there we have it. Both Styler 125s fully assembled. Really, really happy with that. So the only thing I have to do now is to figure out what we're gonna do with these two tanks. And yeah, we have loads of possibilities. They're good size. I think it's called a Styler 125, but I think we just have like 100 liters of volume. So let's say 20, 25 gallons. Yeah, it's pretty good size and just loads of possibilities. Of course, I have a few ideas already, but I would love to hear what you guys have in mind as well. I'm not sure if I want to go like full high-tech aquascape style because I already have loads of high-tech aquascapes. We could go something a little bit more low-tech, maybe some like biotope scaping. We can also do one fresh and one salt water. That's another idea that I had would be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know guys. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in here. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.